Good morning, you guys. Today we'll be working a bit on our balance as well as coordination, a little bit of cardio. So what I'd like you to do is start with your toes open, take a nice big breath in, and then just sink and reach. Sink and reach again two more times. One more, as low as you can sink, and then as high as you can reach. From here, reach across, pull in. So reach, keep going to that same side, tiny bend in your knee, and pull all the way into your chest. So lengthen, three more, two, one more. Other side, you're just gonna reach and pull as far as you can to that corner. Nice deep breath in, exhale. Three more, two, and one. From here, just a nice little step tap, one side, other side. Exhale and tap. Now try to step that foot out as far as you can. At the same time, don't let your head pop up and down. So tap it and switch it. Tap, good, four more. Exhale for four and tap and three and two. One more, both sides. Now we're just gonna drive the knee through. Take your time and find that center of balance. Exhale as you lift. Very good. Every time we lift that knee higher than that core, we're working those abs. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Very nice. Switch sides. Open. Exhale. Find that center. Four more, you guys. Two and one. Awesome work. Let's take a moment here and externally rotate just that left leg. Cross and open. Come across that center line and open. One more. Now draw it in, cross it over. Two, three, four, one more. And then trace external rotation, open. One more, and then circle it in, exaggerate. Two more, and one more. Awesome work, you guys. Lengthen your legs, reach your arms in front of you. And then from here, take your hands and reach behind you. Now contract your quadriceps. If you need to keep your hands on your quads, go for it. If you can, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lengthen that uh, the posterior chain. So the hamstrings in the back, reach as far as you can away. And then sink your hips down, elbows on the knee. And then from here, rotate right shoulder to the left. Keep that space between your ear and your shoulder. Very nice. And then switch and lengthen to the other side. Big breath in you guys. And from here, push one more time. If your hands can touch the floor, great. If not, your hands will be on the knees. You're gonna lengthen those legs and interlace your hands and reach for the sky. So take a deep breath and shake the nonsense out of your head. Lengthen that spine, crown of the head towards the floor, heels. Anchor into the floor. And then sink and bend again one more time. Hands on the knees and roll it up. Very nice, you guys. First thing we're going to do, a little bit of a balance. At the same time as we do the balance, we're just going to do a lateral raise. So if you are comfortable into the tree pose, you're going to go ahead and externally rotate and just take that left foot. Open, it could be down here, it could be up, as high as you are comfortable. So exhale, one, and two, three, no shrugging. Very good. Three 
Three more. One and two. Now pulse. One, two. Lead with your elbows. Last two. And relax it, you guys. Very nice. Take from here the hips. We're just opening up those hips. Take a nice inhale. Rewind it the other way. So we're going to come to the other side. So external rotation. Again, it can be low, medium, high, whatever is most comfortable for you. And then exhale. Inhale. Now focus on the shoulders, finding that center of balance, abdominal muscles in. Very good, you guys. Five more. Four, three, two, one more. And pulse it. Nice big breath in. Four, three, two, and rest it again, you guys. Very nice. Now we're just gonna take a quick step back. What I want you to do is keep hip distance. If I'm here and I step back really close, automatically the balance is off, hip distance apart. So nice deep breath in, stick with your lateral, and then curl up. Open, one, and two, three. Now you can bend that back knee, or you can keep it straight, whatever feels best. Four, press with that front heel. Exhale, five and six, seven, three more, eight, nine, one more. Now we're gonna stay low and pulse. One, two, and four, six, eight, and relax and step it in. Open up the hip, exaggerate that range of motion. And then rewind it the other way. All right, we're gonna step back to the other side. So hip distance, back through, shoulders down into your back, press with the front heel, lateral raise, curl. Exhale, one. Now two, and three, press with the heel. Four, good, five, six, Seven, keep your abs engaged. Eight, nine, one more. Stick with it here. One, two. That's the way you guys relax the neck. No tension in the shoulders. Four, two, and relax it. Wonderful job. Bend your knees, place that down. Open it up from here. So I want you to lengthen instep here of the right with the left. Reach as far as you can. Really reach, stick your hip out. And then open, trying to pose. Big breath in, you guys. Find that center of balance. Rotate your bottom hip towards me. Now draw the arm down and try to take it right into that shin. Big breath here. If you need to walk the back foot, Hip distance, you can. Try to keep it here if you can. Walk it back up. And then push through the back foot. Very good. Switch it. In step. Heel. Reach for it. Line up those hips. Reach through the fingers. If you can look to the ceiling, great. If not, you can look to the floor. But don't let your shoulder drop and keep your bottom hip towards me. And then from here, rotate, take that arm and bring it down, nice inhale. Contract that quadriceps. Big breath in, if your chin can reach your toe, we're lengthening that spine. Open it back and then push through the back. Very nice, now with your weights. So a great way to practice our balance and coordination as well as build that strength is to practice few yoga poses using our weights. So from here, you want to make sure that you can draw your arms comfortably up with weights. And if you feel like you can go heavier, you go for it. So what we're going to do from here is you're going to line it up. You've got that triangle pose. And then reach for it. Open for one. Reach. Two. Inhale. Three. And four, line it up, five, 
Very nice, you guys. Six and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now hold it. Big breath in. Line up the shoulders. Take a nice inhale. And then draw that arm down and open. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, last two, you guys, nine, one more. Push back and through. Very nice. Now we're gonna switch feet. So again, heel in step, shoulders relaxed. Right here, triangle pose, reach for it, bottom hip forward and open. One and two, lengthen that spine. Three, keep the shoulders lined up. Four, very nice. Five, watch that the next day is in neutral. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now hold it down right here. Find that center of balance, line up the shoulders, rotate the bottom hip, exhale, inhale, one, exhale, two, and three, four, if you need to open up that back foot, you do it, five, Exhale, six, seven, three more, you guys. Eight, nine, one more. And push it up. Very nice, you guys. Take those weights, shoulders, roll them back. Keep your elbows open. Nice deep breath in, open, reach, in and down. Now it's gonna be optional to pop up on your tiptoe. Ready, here we go. Open, lift, one. Inhale, and two. Very good, you guys, spread the wings. Exhale. Now I wanna to try to keep my elbow in that same space, and the arms are pivot point here, the elbow's the pivot point, and the arms will come out and open, and then through. Exhale. You're not shrugging the shoulders, abdominal muscles nice and tight. Give me three more. Three. Now two, one more. And one, very nice, you guys. Now I want you to have ways that you feel comfortable like running in place, okay? So the goal is to be able to go fairly fast, but we will start slow. The motion is gonna be kick back and then pull through. Now I can optionally tap from here, the same foot back as the arm when it comes back if I want to. Otherwise, I can stay in the same space, okay? So big breath in, tap, start slow. One, two, three. Now keep that same sink here through that heel and exhale as you reach back. Keep that neck in neutral. Now start to build up that tempo. Run it out, you guys. Now keep hip distance apart and run it out. Big breath in now. Inhale, exhale. You go at your pace through that range of motion. If you cannot sink, stand up. If you can, chest parallel, neck neutral. Give me five more. Three, two, and relax it, roll it back. Very nice, you guys, roll it forward. Now we're gonna switch the, that tap back to the other foot, kick back, pull through. Two, three, four, neck in neutral. We're gonna start to build it up, you guys. Now hold stationary. Let's get those arms working now. 
Big breath in, you got that elbow pivot point. Give me 10 more, you guys, right here. Five, three, and relax it. Great work, you guys. Drop those weights. Lunge here and draw the arm open. Let's exaggerate that range of motion here in the shoulder. You go at your pace, three more, and then rewind it. Bring it all the way through. Exaggerate it. Awesome work. We're gonna switch to the other side. Nice inhale. Maybe that shoulder gets stuck. If you need to, go slow. If you can, as fast as you feel like you can. Open, three, two, now rewind it, open it up. Three more. And open it up, you guys, big breath, reach, exhale, inhale. Now, if you feel comfortable adding weights to this motion, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my threes. You can do fives if you want to. You wanna be able to hold your arms out, reach, and extend that opposite arm to the ceiling. Exhale, reach. Four more, you guys. Three, reach. Two, one more, both sides. Relax it. Now I'm gonna keep the weights in my hands and stay as low as I can here. And then sit up nice and tall. Curl, overhead press. Should be relatively easy with the arms. In, open. Inhale, exhale. Sink a little lower if you can. Good, find that center. Now prop up here on your right toe. One, and two. You need to pop up in between. Three, two more, four, now you're gonna switch the pop up, other foot, head stays in that same space, palms in and up and out, sink half an inch lower, two more, now you're gonna try to come up on both tiptoe, find that center of balance, abdominal muscles in, very nice you guys, let's do five more. Five, and four, three, and two, one more now. Awesome work, lengthen. I'm gonna go ahead from here and take the weights down, keep that nice forward bend, but reach the arms behind me. Keep my heart open, neck in neutral, and not dipping that heart below the waist. Big breath in and reach. Now we're gonna be walking it out into a plank. If you know that doesn't work for you, you can hold the plank here um, on a chair or against the wall. So big breath in. I'm gonna hinge from my hip, walk it out now. Now in that plank position, neck in neutral, tap left shoulder, right shoulder without a lot of movement. One, you can drop to your elbows, two, Three, now really engage that core to prevent the body from moving. Abs in, four more. Three, and two, one more. I'm gonna push back downward facing dog. Now take that right leg and travel it up. Find that center of balance here, sink your opposite heel, place it back. Lengthen, heel to the ceiling. Nice deep breath in. Bicycle those legs. We're gonna walk it back in and slowly roll it up. Now, as we come through and walk out to the plank, we're gonna do a mountain climber, but it's gonna be slow. Walk it out. If I need to hold on a chair, I'm gonna exhale, travel the knee through, 
and switch. So it's slow. Exhale as you drive that knee through. Exhale, pull through. Neck in neutral. Now four more. Exhale. Three. You guys got this. Two. One more, both sides. Push back, down dog. Nice inhale, shake your head out. Now we're gonna lengthen that right leg. Bend the knee, externally rotate and look underneath that right arm. Big breath in now, sink the left. Travel it back down. Externally rotate, lengthen and open. Relaxing the opposite heel. Bring it back through, you guys, and walk it back in. And reach for it. Now, I'm gonna walk out one more time, but we're gonna come down to our knees. What I want you to do is, if you can, curl your toes. Sit back, open, and from here, you're just gonna gently take that left hand, Rotate the palm away. And if you can, you're sitting back on the toes. It's not the most comfortable, but think about creating space in the toes if you need to release. And then come back, switch to the other side. Big breath in now. We're gonna release the seat and come back here, you guys. All right, so finding our balance with some core exercises. I can hold my hands behind my knees. I can take a pillow and place it right here or a Pilates ball. I'm gonna to try to hug my knees so that my shins are parallel. This is what works best and alternate from here. Nice deep breath. Reach, switch. One, now two, three, and four. Contract the quadricep. You could keep the opposite foot on the floor. Find that balance, exhale it up. If you can, both feet up. And then travel them back here to parallel. So we're not trying to let them drop too far if we can prevent it. Exhale. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Interlace your hands, push forward. We're gonna to come to a plank, you guys. So from here, I'm gonna roll it over. If you need to use a chair or the wall, look for it on my elbows. Now, from here, what we're going to do is take our elbows and you're gonna take them and draw the arms parallel to each other so that you can rotate and you have one elbow underneath the shoulder and you can tuck that arm back in and now switch. Now I could drop that bottom knee. I can keep both of my knees on the floor to take some pressure off the shoulders. Ready? One, exhale, two. Now open and stretch you guys, three. Inhale, exhale. Keep your hips up if you can. Exhale as you open. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more both sides. Now I'm gonna hold the plank. If I need a break, I'm gonna take it. This time I'm gonna take my hands triangle. Now from here, I'm gonna pop the hips up. Dolphin. Back to plank. You can drop your knees if you need to. Ready? Pop it up. Over. Exhale. There's a string from the ceiling and it's pulling your belly button up and in. Exhale as you lift. Keep that core pulling nice and tight. Exhale. Give me five more. Five. And four. Exhale, three. And for two, one more. And relax your knees, puppy pose. Hips high, head low. 
If it feels comfortable, just sink your hips back and gently rotate you guys side to side. All right, so we're gonna come into a plank and we're gonna add jacks. Now, if you know that that's not your strong suit holding yourself up, you can do a jumping jack from standing. You could also step tap your foot instead of jumping completely up to you. All right, so I'm gonna hold a regular plank from here. You're welcome to stay on your elbows and tap instead. So nice deep breath in, we've got 10 jacks. Nice deep breath. Abs in, neck in neutral. Five more, four, three. Now it's mountain climbers. You can go slow, two, four, six. If you're standing, knee pulls back to your jack eight times. Eight, six, neck in neutral, two, mountains, other knee leads. Step through, knee pulls if you're standing. Hold the plank, six jacks, five, three, right knee pull, four, two, hold it, four times jack, neck in neutral, here we go knee pull, push back down dog, deep breath in now, if you need a break, take it, shake it out. We're on 10 you guys, Ready, 10 jacks. Nine, eight, six, and four, two. Here we go, mountains. Eight, and six, four, two, and knees. And relax it. Great work, you guys. Take from here the hands and bring them right by your feet. Take a nice deep breath in. Take a nice deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful job, you guys. Roll your wrist. See if that helps. Rewind it. From here, you're gonna drop to the elbows. Take that nice inhale. And if it's comfortable, what I want you to do is you're gonna pop up on the knee and then hover, come back here, nice deep breath in, and lengthen. So inhale, and exhale, reach for it. Inhale, now use your abs and your quads as you hover, and then the string from the ceiling, lengthening the legs, lifting those hips up high. You can rest your knee, and then pop up if that's best. Three more, you guys. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Really pull that belly button tight. One more now. Awesome work. Drop down. Open up your knees as far as feels comfortable and relax. I'm going to take my right arm and thread the needle. Relax and reach it to the left. Deep breath in, you guys. Create as much space in your back. As you can, make sure your neck is relaxed. Big breath, let it go. And then switch to the other side. Open and thread that needle. Take a nice deep breath here, you guys. Open up through the shoulder, relax onto that ear, side of the head if it's comfortable. Fantastic, we're gonna release that seat again here. Very nice, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna to come to that V. I'm gonna hold from here again. Pillow, maybe a ball behind my back. Maybe I'll keep one foot on the floor and transfer. All right, so I want you to lengthen and lift from here. Deep breath in, inhale, exhale. I'm gonna to try to come down slowly for five. If it doesn't work, I'll bend my knees and I'd sit up instead of coming down. Ready? Down five, four, three, two, Open, big breath, and I'm really gonna reach here, you guys. Create that space, I'm gonna slowly return back up. Now, if I prefer, I can do just a crunch, lifting the upper body instead of both. Ready? Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, reach, hold it, big breath in. Remember, you can drop your feet down to the floor. Down five, four, 
three, two, open. Now really reach and lengthen. We've got one more time, you guys, and we're popping up. If it doesn't work, you can do a regular crunch stop coming all the way up. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now reach and hold right here. Shoulders back, belly button in. Five, and four, and three. Shoulders back. Two, relax your feet. Interlace. C curve with your spine. Big breath in, you guys. Let's have a little rotation. So from here, just gently tuck and take that left arm behind. As much as you can, rotate the entire torso and take that body and rotate it. And then other side, tuck that arm in close, right behind that knee in a nice rotation here. Very good, you guys. Now we're coming into just that side plank. If I have a hard time holding a side plank instead, I can come down from here and I can work my leg instead. All right, so elbow tucked in. You can also stay on your elbow and you can do some knee pulls, some leg lifts. So don't feel like you can't do something. So you're gonna tuck that elbow in right underneath. I can take my top leg to help hold me up. Now the motion is going to be to rotate the elbow and lift it up. So I'm going to try to stack my feet right on top of each other. I can also keep my bottom knee down if I need to. Ready? Elbow underneath. Exhale. One. Now open. And two. Very nice, you guys. Lift that oblique up. Exhale it up. Neck in neutral. Drop the bottom knee or the top knee to help stabilize. Four more. Three. Two. If you can hold it, I want you to hold it. If you need a break, I want you to relax down and take a moment. Now from here, we're gonna take this top arm and thread the needle underneath and reach. Remember, you take that break when you need it. You take your top leg, help you. You take your bottom knee, relax it. Just to the place that works for you. We can do the move to the best of your ability. So three more. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Hold it one more time. If I need a break, I'm taking it. I'm gonna dip the hip and lift. One, two, three, dip it. Four, and five, too much on your shoulder, take a break, six. Seven, eight, last two, you guys. One more now. Relax down, draw the knees in and lengthen your arms out. Take a great big breath here, you guys. Inhale. If it's comfortable, I'm gonna lengthen my top leg. I could also hug it in. If it feels comfortable to lengthen that leg, I'm gonna shoot arrows out here of my heel. Lengthen. Now I'm gonna come onto the back and I'm gonna draw that arm that I'm just resting on, pull it right across the chest, and then I'm going to take that leg that was on the floor and I'm going to cross it number four here and relax both the hip and the shoulder. Take a nice inhale and take a nice exhale. Now from here, I'm going to cross at my knees, cross at the knees, lift up parallel. Now I'm going to draw the knees over and across and keep those arms nice and open. So big breath in, maybe a little adjustment in the spine. If it doesn't work to cross the knees, no worries. Big breath here, and then gently come back to the center. And we're gonna go ahead and come to the other side. If it's better to roll over, if you can, you're gonna roll up. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. All right, so I can always take my bottom knee to help me and always take my top knee. Now make sure we double check, elbow underneath the shoulder. First move, elbow's gonna rotate down. Take that big breath in you guys, exhale one and two. Very good, three, exhale as you rotate, four. Very nice, five, keep those hips side, six and for seven. Eight, nine, if you need a break, take it right here. Deep breath in. 
From here, I'm gonna travel that arm under, reach for it, one, two, you can relax that bottom knee, take a break when you need it, exhale, rotate through, five more, one, and two, and three, and four, if you need it, take that break again, deep breath in you guys, we're gonna dip the hip and lift it, one, and two, three, and four. You know when you need a break, you take it. This is it, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. I'm gonna go ahead and come to that fetal position. Open those arms up, create that nice big T here. If it feels comfortable to hug my top knee in or lengthen, I will do either. Nice big breath, lengthening and opening, creating space and balance in the body and equal strength. Go ahead from here and rotate onto your back. Now that arm that you're leaning on, you're gonna draw it across, hug it in. And that bottom hip, rotate, number four stretch and open that up. So create that nice big space in the shoulder and the hip. Nice inhale, low back relax. Exhale. Now gently cross the leg, open the arm, travel the shin, and then from here gently draw the knees all the way over to the other side. So nice big breath. You can use your bottom knee to draw the top knee down further. Great job, you guys. Now from here to come up, if I need to roll over, I will. If I can roll it up, I'm gonna roll it up. Now we've got a little bit of a balanced ab move. So to adjust the move and make it easier, I'll rotate back, travel down onto my elbow, and then lengthen my top leg, rotate back and lift up. All right, so now the move is, I'm gonna come down for three, start to lift my legs, Rotate all the way over now, isolate and hold, big breath in. Now as I travel back, I'm gonna slowly lift and pull the knees in. Now if I need to, I will rest my feet down in between. All right, are you ready? So one, two, three. Now we're still gonna go to the same side every time. Rotate, exhale, lift it. Two, two, three. Now open, create that nice space along the side. Find your balance, pull the belly button in. Ready? Lift it up now. Three, two, three. Open, reach nice and long, you guys. Inhale, exhale, pull it back. Lift it up now. Four, two, three. Lengthen and open. Find your center. Rotate it back, lift it up. One more time to this side. Five, two, three. Open, nice inhale, you guys. And then draw everything back up and in. Take a break, interlace, push through. Now we're gonna rotate to the other side. So big breath in, ready? One, two, three. Now open, find that center. Rotate back and lift it. Two, two, three. Now open. If you need to relax your feet, that's fine. Exhale, lift it up. Three, two, three. Open, balance, abdominal muscles. Pull back in. Two more. One, two, three. Open, lengthen. Big breath in. Pull through it, you guys, one more time. And five, two, three. Open. And reach it up. Great work, you guys. We're gonna come back from here for the count of three and two and one. And I want you to hug your knees in, create that nice stretch in your back, relax here. If you have the flexibility, you can grab onto your toes, little happy baby pose or that bug. I'm just gonna gently rotate here, side to side. Now I'm focusing on relaxing the low back, imprinting, deep breath in. Neck and shoulders relaxed. 
If it feels comfortable to lengthen my legs, maybe not quite holding the toes doesn't work, I would take my hands under my knees. I can roll the ankles. Deep breath in here. Nice deep breath out. Lengthen and point and flex. Create that space there in the hamstrings. We're gonna gently roll it up or over to the side. And then flip over and you're gonna to come to that down dog. Nice deep breath, shake your head out. Bicycle your feet, left and then right. Nice deep breath here. And then we're gonna slowly walk it in, you guys. Soften your knees and roll it up. Very good, and roll the shoulders back. Now with your weights, we're gonna do that step tap, lateral lift. Now you can do three spots, whatever feels most comfortable for you. The movement is to step tap and also to add from here the lateral raise. So I want you to sink down, keep that head in one space, tap it and switch it. Good. Exhale, three and four and five, six. Leave with your elbows, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now reach and open, pull through. Now take the weights right into your hip, exhale. You can keep a bend in your arms, reach and pull. Exhale as you lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, open, pull through. One, two, three. Exhale, pull. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest it. Great job. Roll the hips out. And rewind it. So we're gonna do a little set of burpees now. If you prefer to step back or eliminate burpees, you can do a wall squat altogether. Now, as I said earlier, you're welcome to use a step and chair all the way down to the floor. Big breath in now, step or jump back, drop back in, and then jump or stand straight. Inhale, exhale, reach or jump back. In, reach, back, in, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Keep that core nice and tight, you guys. Give me four more, three more, two more. And one more time now. And reach for it. Very nice, you guys, take that big breath. And then gently spread your wings, sink down, sweep the floor. Inhale, exhale, two more. One more time, you guys. Fantastic, now interlace your hands, nice and tall. Walk your feet close, rotate, take from here. Left hand behind the back, right hand to the hip. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, rotate, tuck it. Relax the shoulders. Very good, you guys. Light little jog in place, up to you if you want to do this with weights or not. Completely up to you, so deep breath in. Jog it out. Don't forget about your breath. Now you can go at your pace, whatever that is. That slow, just marching in place. Give me five more just like this. Now same time jump row. Remember 50 jumps a day at least. Keep that bone density strong. Abdominal muscles in. You guys got this, soft on your feet. Now we're gonna go side to side. Inhale, exhale. Great work, you guys. Now we're gonna do the twist here. So side to side, keep those hips moving. Remember, it doesn't work, you march in place. Now we're gonna go heel taps, heel tap. Now 
Now toe tap. Very good, you guys. And then jumping jacks without forgetting to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, march it out. Up and switch. Up, switch. Four more, just like this. Three, two, one. Open. Big breath in and sink down as low as you can. Heart stays high. Nice deep breath here. Inhale. Push all the way back up and roll your shoulders. So balance move from here. I'm gonna drive my knee up. If it's comfortable, at front snap kick. I need to use a chair or a wall. I'll hold here and just use one weight. So maybe you wanna go a little heavier, maybe not, completely up to you. So your shoulders are back, you're gonna find that balance point, travel the knee, you're gonna go hammer curl, and as you kick, flip that weight, you can place your foot back down or balance. Ready, shoulders back. Curl, one, curl, two. Now find a focal point. If you can, lift your leg as high as your waist. Inhale, very good. Give me three more, two more, and one more. Now without letting your foot touch, it's gonna to be the bend and the snap. So big breath, snap, one, two. I'm just gonna draw the weights back to 90, three, four, five, tummy's tight, six, seven, that's the way you guys, eight, last two, one more, and rest it. Take those hips and gently exaggerate the rotation and then rewind it. Very good, you guys are gonna find that center of balance on the other side. Shoulders back, wall if you need to, chair. You twist it and tap it. One, elbows close. Two, you can just do the bicep curl. Three, but very important to work that balance. I'd rather you just do the leg if you're gonna pick one. Five more. Five, and four, three, Exhale, two, one more. Now, without letting it touch, shoulders back. Find your focal point from here. Curl, one, two, three. Exhale, lengthen, four, five. Very nice, you guys, six. And seven, three more. Eight, nine, one more time and rest it, wonderful work. I'm gonna keep these weights, roll my shoulders back. Take a nice deep breath in. Now, if I am comfortable coming down to the point from to my knees and then coming back up, that would be level one. From here, if I feel comfortable, shading the legs, keeping that hinge, and then coming back up. Now, traveling with balance, I'm gonna take that right foot back, shoulders stay in the socket. You can go fairly heavy if you have the option, and you have heavy weights, you're gonna go ahead from here, find that focal point, single leg deadlift, and reach it back up. Inhale, exhale. Now find your focal point, two, exhale, and three, exhale, and four. Now keep that neck in neutral. You can keep both feet down, you guys, five, and four, lengthen. Three, two, one more. One, rest it, shoulders back. Now I'm gonna take this foot back. If I feel comfortable working the balance, I will hold the balance. Otherwise I'll tap the foot in between. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, shoulders back, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now we take that front foot. 
Lengthen that leg. Scoop the hips back. Now I should feel that in your glute medius, standing on one foot and working that balance towards the top of your glute. Big breath in. If I could, my chin would come over my toe and then bring it back up. All right, so we're gonna switch feet. Remember, right here, inhale, exhale. If I can come down further. All right, so single leg, big breath in, focal point, shoulders back. Ready, travel, and one. Exhale, and two. Exhale, and three. For four, find that center, pull the belly button in. Five, and six. You can use a wall or a chair here. Seven, help you build that balance. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Step that foot back, nice deep breath in, either tapping or lifting or balancing. Ready? One, two, three, four, shoulders back, five, six, belly buttons in, seven, Press through that heel, eight, feel it in your glute, nine, one more, and 10, wonderful. Lengthen that leg, sink down and travel down as far as you can. Great work, you guys, big breath here. We're gonna open up the quadriceps. If I need a wall or a chair, I would take my foot, bring it right behind, if I can from here. Lengthen and draw that heel up to the boot. Try to line up your legs. Inhale. Nice stretch. Come to that number four. Cross it. Find your center. And then sink. You can do this from a chair, having a seat. Great stretch to add to your day. And then from here, gently come back up. Draw your hips. Exaggerate, rewind it. Okay, so other quad, big breath here. Draw back. If I need a wall, I'll use it. And I'm gonna try to line up the legs. Use that chair behind me if need be. Deep breath in, feel that stretch in the quadricep. If it feels comfortable to draw that leg forward and then come here and take that nice deep breath in, find that center, and then sink. Inhale. And exhale. There's always one side that feels easier or that's a little bit more balanced than the other. Kind of think about that like when you're trying to do your hair or your makeup, one side's always a little easier or maybe looks a little better to you. So nice deep breath in from here, you guys. Reach those arms up interlace and open now create that big stretch you're squeezing the shoulder blades together nice inhale sink your hips down elbows along the knee and then rotate so i'm going to lengthen and open and extend that left and reach all the way across so big breath in from here I can stay just like this if this feels best for me. Open. And then travel that back in. I'm going to lengthen and open the other side and then reach for it. No tension or stress in the neck. Wonderful, you guys. Back up. All right, so directional jumping jacks, five each way. If it doesn't work, I would step tap, use my waist instead. Now you can also add weight to this if you want to. So front, and then we're gonna go to here to the left. One, two, three, four, and rotate. One, two, three, four, rotate. And one, two, three, four, here we go. One, two, three, four, rotate. One, two, three, four, other way. Five, four, three, two, rotate. Five, four, three, two, rotate. And five, four, three, two, 
One more time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach for it. Spread your wings. Interlace your hands. And look all the way to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Look to the right. Nice deep breath here. I'm going to take care of that left hand, reach to the back of the head. Take my right hand, tuck it behind my back. Try to bring the chin in towards the armpit. Create that nice space between the ear and the shoulder. Big breath in without yanking. Gently drawing the chin in. Lift it back up. And then from here, switch hands. Open and gently relax that left shoulder and bring that chin in towards that right armpit big breath in create that space in the back and the side of the neck where we hold a lot of tension and then back up take both hands behind your back drop your chin and then open look all the way to the right nice and tall shoulders back all the way to the left. Hands on your hip. Rotate from here, ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale one more time, you guys. And then back to the middle. Let's take three big breaths in. Reach for the sky. Spread your wings and let it go. Give me another big breath in. Now draw that energy, pull into the heart center. Take your fingers and press through them. Open up your palms and separate here. Look down into that left. Again, pushing through the fingers, opening the wrists, and also creating space in the side of the neck. Draw the chin to the chest and gently relax the left shoulder. Nice deep breath in, keep pressing through those fingers. And then back to the middle, you guys. Let's take one more big breath. Inhale, positive. Draw that energy all the way in. Exhale, let go of anything negative that doesn't serve you that you can't change. And then from here, gently bow your head. Namaste. Hope you have a wonderful day. And look forward to seeing you soon. Great job, you guys. Awesome work.